Well, did you know that, uh, you know, burnout and unhealed grieving can cause serious mental health disorder? As the country commemorates the Mental Health Mac a Month a marked on May to create awareness and sensitization, Kam Chimaza brings us the story of Augusta Seki, a mental health disorder survivor. It is 11 years now since Augusta Seki, a former administrator who worked in Afghanistan, was diagnosed with anxiety disorder, one of the mental health illnesses. Because I was working, there was a way I was used to a certain habit. I used to wake up in a, at a certain time, I used to eat a certain time, but now some things went stopping. You just find like yourself busy doing something else and getting an excuse to do what you used to do. Augusta never noticed anything different until the illness progressed and her colleagues at work started to talk. That I had lost so much weight, I couldn't tell. At some point, I, uh, because I was an administrator, I started typing things that they were, they were not being understood. I was not feeling anything other than the anxiety and uh, palpitations. Uh, when I was brought in to see a doctor, I was told I have to be hospitalized. So they said probably this is uh, uh, some signs or symptoms of depression and they have to check me out. Her illness would later morph into post-traumatic stress disorder and mood disorder. I believe there was a lot of uh, uh, unresolved issues on the grief, the loss and grief I encountered, and then now plus the burnout, the, work, uh, the workplace burnout. I had not taken the, the vacation in time. If I had, I would have come relaxed and maybe probably re-energized to go back to work. Going through therapy, she says, was not easy. Denial and stigma worsened the situation. That time, you don't have that. Is it luxury of thinking? No, you don't think. Mm -hmm. You just happen to now think after the, the journey of now recovering has started. That is when you'll realize you stopped this. How did it come to stop? What happened? Oh, yeah, this is why. But during that particular time when you're falling ill, you don't think that way. The symptoms are many, depending on the category, depending on uh, what people are going through. So I can't say this is one thing, but I will say check change of behavior, check change of uh, uh, habits that they are used to. to. If you are there, they were quiet, they are becoming too talkative all of a sudden. Somebody was very tidy, all of a sudden they, they are not taking care of themselves. But then also be very careful about uh, when it is continuous. For depression, we say two weeks because we can easily pick it out. For other uh, situations, watch for a period of time. The most common diagnosis is depression, anxiety and substance abuse disorders. I usually uh, try and advocate so much for ad uh, 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 workplaces to try and educate people that mental health is very essential because it's from within. Nobody else can be able to tell until when you're totally broken down. I will go back to the family system. Let the families work, please. Let people know that there is uh, treatment. And uh, we can go for treatment when we see the issues coming up. The mental health disorder survivor decided to pursue a psychology course to understand her situation and further help many in her situation. One out of four persons who seek health care in Kenya have a mental health condition. In 2020, Kenya established a mental health task force to implement a number of reforms to improve care for individuals with mental health conditions. Kamchemenza for Sunday Express.